you guys, let me show you. I broke something and I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna try to fix it. This part is what connects the wire here from the outside to go to the inside of the differential. There's a rubber or there's an O-ring right there. And so that's what makes the seal on the top of the differential. There's one bolt that holds it in. And then your connector right here that activates the locker actually plugs in right there. Okay, but the little connection here, I broke off. And so I've taken it apart a couple times before, but this time when I took it apart, I broke it. So you can buy these, they're not expensive, 20 or 30 bucks, um, but it won't show up until Wednesday and I'm supposed to leave Thursday morning. So I'm not optimistic about it showing up in time, but, and I can't find it in town. So basically what I did was I cross drilled right here and I'll show you up closer what I did. Hopefully that little hole is visible there. And I just cross drilled right across here like that, okay? So it's well below the connectors there. It kind of had to cut through this part as well. And then up here, I tried to make it a depth so that the safety wire actually passes right behind these two little tabs that stick up right here. So those, there's two little tabs right there. Um, one's under my finger, one's kind of under my thumb. So those two little tabs, I tried to pass tried to drill the hole right where the safety wire would pass right behind that. It was six millimeters. It was six millimeters from this edge to where I started my hole, okay? Okay, so those two tabs that I'm talking about, one's right here and one's right here. So those two little tabs slide into the two slots right here and right here, okay? And then so when we slide those tabs in, like that, those tabs will go beyond the holes right there. And it feels pretty secure, but I can still pull it out. So this safety wire will drive right behind here. Okay. And then I'll wrap it around. I'm thinking this way and then just give it a couple twists. Now, is this going to come out and end up in my differential? I don't think so. Um, it's just going to get bathed in oil. There's no motion this is going to go through. I've still ordered the part, and I'll still replace this probably the next time I'm in this differential, which hopefully will be never, but uh, <laughs> never say never. So we'll go ahead and get this uh, twisted down here. And it looks like I want to twist it right in the back here because that's where I have the most distance between the edge right here, if that makes sense. So we're going to get this twisted up. And this is real safety wire. This is a 1 16th hole, and this is 0 0.041 safety wire. So this is the real stuff. And I have safety wire twisting pliers, and I love them. They're so much fun to play with, but I'm just going to use my vice grips here. And uh, tighten this down. We're not going to overdo it. Just enough to snug it. That's it. We're going to cut it off and bend it over. Okay, now it looks, looks like it's going to be out of the way. It seems like it's a little smaller diameter than the edges here. So hopefully it'll go through the hole. And, boy, I just screwed up, didn't I? <laughs> I'm supposed to do this after I put it through the hole. All right, well, that's, that's a good dry run, but <laughs> now I've got to redo it. But let's just pull on it now, and it's not going to come out at all. You can put a little vice grips on it here gently. I'm not going to try to crush it, but just use the vice grips to hold it here. And... Um, Yep, that's not going anywhere. But now this is a lot actually easier to see from right here what I'm doing. So now I'm going to do it up here. Uh, I'm going to pass this through. It's going to be a little harder to get it through and get the wire twisted. But uh, we'll get that done and get this back in. And hopefully uh, this will be a good fix for... Well, any fix is temporary, right? Any redneck fix is temporary unless it works. And then it might be permanent. Check this out. I don't have to jack with the stupid Chrysler freaking annoying connectors that you can't ever figure out because they're all freaking different. I swear. And when I took my turbo out of my diesel one time to rebuild it, holy cow, I think I spent more time on the stupid connectors than I did to pulling the whole turbo out. Okay, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I spent way too much time on those stupid connectors. Okay, and that's what the final product looks like. Let's see if it drops down in here now. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, by the way, this connector, if you're wondering, this is just one you pinch down like this, and that frees up the clip. So, I swear you have to go to Chrysler School to understand how these things, all these stupid connectors that they come up with, go together. Now we're just going to look in here and make sure that the wire looks like it's in a good position. This is going to move just a little bit. This is obviously what retains it, this little clip right here. This little piece right here retains this and keeps it from rotating. Um, but just make sure that the wire looks like it's in good position there. It's not going to get bent or pinched or by anything. Nope, looks good from my house. We're going to get this little bolt in and get this back together. Hopefully this will uh, work well for us. And looking up inside there, I can't quite see the wire sticking down past that hole. So it's kind of tucked up inside there. All right, good. Okay, back from Moab, had a couple really good days on the trail and used the lock, front locker, you know, half a dozen, a dozen times, not a bunch, kind of engage it, go over an obstacle, disengage it. It worked fine. So my bush fix with the little wire seems to be holding together, but I did buy the part. Here's the part and I want to show you something just so it's a little confusing. If you look at these parts and you're trying to buy this part because I got this Crown brand, it's a aftermarket brand. And here it is on Amazon. It was 18 bucks shipped. But what's confusing is it says Crown Automotive. That's the brand, of course. Axle, locker, sensor, connector. Okay. And this has really nothing to do with the sensor. The sensor, you know, with a plunger that screws into the side of the differential, um, that's a totally different connector. It does not use this. This is actually the locker actuator connector. And I think that would be a better word. I may be wrong, but um, this is what actually carries the current that energizes the electronic locker. So it's not really a sensor connector, but it does have this end just like it's supposed to and that end like it's supposed to, one little screw hole. So if you're going to buy this part, don't let that confuse you. Okay, so it's always nice when a bush fix works, right? When a redneck fix works. Um, be sure to check my channel if you're interested in this stuff. There's a bunch of videos under Jeep where I've modified, you know, TJ some and this JK as well. And a lot of it now is just kind of maintenance and fixing things that break and kind of learn along the way. So if that interests you, be sure to check that uh, playlist out under my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh,